What I'm confused about is when I read and I read in, in depth about what you're doing, why would anyone? The other guys are just inferior. They don't have that fourth dimension. So what car company in its right mind would use the cheaper? Well, I don't even know. You can tell me whether you can make this thing at scale. It'll probably end up being cheaper. But what car company? I mean, you've got the biggest car company in the world involved with you. You've got a major manufacturer uh, that does parts for companies involved with you. Why would any? What's the? Give me the case for the other guy, if you can, because I can't think of it. I, I've seen it, and I've been <laughs> in it, and I don't want to go back in it. <laughs> so, look, the, the reality is our technology is on the way to development and coming into production by 2024 timeframe. We see now in, in the interim, you know, stopgap programs where you have kind of pilot programs, not super high volumes or scale, where three LiDAR actually is in play. But with, you know, all the OEMs and, and the customers we engage with, it's becoming more and more clear that that end state, the future of, of perception and LiDAR sensing is really moving from that 3D towards that 40. And, and we, you know, we have always believed that and, and, it, and you know, we're seeing more and more of that realization now in the industry. And, and that's, that's something that I think we're gonna start seeing more and more as we approach also that 24, 25 timeframe where our technology is gonna ramp up into, into right. going. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer, hashtag mad tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.